This is the story of a search, a search for beauty. In this search, men first drew inspiration from the forms of nature. In Egypt, the papyrus plant formed the motif in the fluting of architectural columns. In the maiden's gown. In the alabaster vase. In the styling of chariots, the ancestors, all fleet and beautiful things on wheels. The finest wheel vehicles were styled for elegance and were made by hand for the fortunate few. But then came an innovation that was a turning point in history. No one cared that the automobile looked like the familiar buggy minus the horse. People were more concerned with whether it was safe and how well it would work. Automobiles continued to look like carriages and much the same lines were used year after year. Then motor cars became a means of mass transportation with steel bodies that could be reproduced in the millions. Late in the 1920s, the Model A replaced the Model T. Here was the beginning of a new motor age, the styling of a mass-produced car so that it would be more pleasing to the eye. As engineers worked to improve the mechanism, stylists worked to improve the appearance. In those formative years, the concept of the modern car was born as the work of the stylist became an organized search for beauty. One concept led to the elegance and dignity of the continental. to the swift and distinctive lines of the Thunderbird. The principles of beauty to an automobile. Like the painters and sculptors who preceded him for centuries, he draws inspiration and ideas from the life, the forms, and the art of the world. Shape. Portion, ornamentation, material, texture, color, function, pattern, space, and rhythm, so that the automobile he designs will be both functional and beautiful. He explores the dynamics of motion, both mechanical and human. Or as he learned when he was a student, if you can draw the subtlety of the human figure, you can draw anything. Just as a sculptor may express strength and repose, the stylist must express form that relates to motion. He blends all these elements for the final effect of harmony, order, and interest. The contemporary stylist is part artist, part architect, part sculptor, and part product designer. Like Leonardo da Vinci, the stylist unites art and technology. Leonardo, master of the Renaissance, approached art as a science and science as an art. Leonardo's spring-driven automobile has something in common with this dream car conceived in an advanced styling studio. Both 
are far ahead of the time in which they were created. Today's dream cars are a source of inspiration for the stylists. While some are working on ideas for the distant future, others are concerned with features that may be used in the next few years. In attacking a design problem, the stylist must think first of the vehicle's occupants. Safety and comfort, along with beauty, are of basic importance. He explores many directions. Finally, the best features coalesce into the design that is approved for the next stage. Expression in three dimensions. To this wooden armature, clay is applied. It is shaped a sculptured version of a new model. After many refinements, the first three-dimensional model is ready for management appraisal. Here is Allegro, an experimental car that could be called a practical dream car. It is designed with a long hood, a grille that extends forward of the headlights, a compact passenger compartment, and a fast back roof line. Other advances include brake and accelerator pedals, which adjust to fit the driver. Here is a new concept in driver convenience, a unique cantilevered arm steering wheel with a memory unit. By pushing buttons, the driver can raise or lower the steering wheel and move it fore or aft to his most comfortable driving position. When he leaves, he swings the steering wheel out of the way for easy exit. On re-entering the car, he merely touches the memory button to move the steering wheel back to the original driving position. This is Cougar II, another practical dream car. It's a two-passenger GT or Gran Turismo. Function is the keynote of the interior design. The leather seats adjust individually. Instrumentation is complete and clearly legible. Controls are located for optimum convenience, and the carpeting enhances soundproofing as much as appearance. The Cougar II has a fast back roof, concealed pop-up headlamps, and is powered by a high-performance V8 engine. It could be engineered for speeds in the 170 mile per hour range. And now Aurora, designed for the whole family to enjoy. A bank of 12 one-inch headlights is a new approach to road illumination. Electroluminescent side panels increase visibility for nighttime safety. It has a clamshell rear entry system, which consists of a tailgate that folds down and a lift gate that slides over the roof to permit easy access to the children's seat. The front passenger can face forward or swivel the armchair seat. The curved sofa is large enough for three adults. This experimental station wagon is equipped with a thermoelectric combination oven refrigerator unit and a built-in beverage cooler and cabinet. 
It also has three separate AM FM radios, a sound recorder, and a plug-in TV screen. The advanced instrument panel incorporates a position indicator map that automatically adjusts to the location of the car. A lane speed panel for expressway driving. A large speedometer with individually illuminated numerals to highlight vehicle speed and a constant speed control device. With variable ratio steering, the steering bar requires only one half turn from lock to lock. Sits in a contoured cockpit seat with a high back for support. Will any of these experimental features be seen on production cars in the future? The public will decide. Experimental cars are displayed at places such as the World's Fair to evoke consumer action. When many opinions are evaluated, the features consumers like... As the search for beauty continues, the stylist focuses on the future that lies just ahead. Years ago, custom-built horseless carriages reflected the tastes of the very wealthy. Today, the lowest price cars provide attractive and tasteful interiors. And stylists are working on many ways to make them even more comfortable and more exciting in years to come. To please a very style-conscious public, the interior designer evaluates thousands of fabrics before making a selection. But the search for beauty must be more than surface deep, and the stylist is as concerned with function as he is with form. By definition, a stylist is one who advises concerning current styles as in dress and furnishings. Today, the term is automotive industry to differentiate between the designer of the vehicle's appearance and the designer of the mechanical parts and structure. Obviously, these creative processes overlap. Like his predecessors, the stylist, by inclination, skill, and training, is predominantly an artist. Yet, in order to exercise his art, he must have a working knowledge of engineering, of the properties of many materials, and of costs and sources of supply. Thus, he is an industrial designer who applies the total performance of vehicles. Sometimes the stylist's experimental car can be moved almost without change to the assembly line. Such a car was Mustang II. What gives this car its look of total performance? First, inside. An interior that's inviting, comfortable, and sporty. With an instrument panel that's deeply padded and hooded. Now outside, the unique grill, long hood, low top, and short rear deck. Sculptured side panels to lower the profile. Round wheel openings to emphasize the wheels and suggest power and performance. This is the moment of truth, the production car. The work of the stylist, begun over 20 months ago, has been translated into fabric, rubber, glass, and metal. Now the public will tell him how well he has succeeded.
This story of styling ends here, but the stylist will turn again to his practical dreams. The search for beauty never ends. No one cared that the automobile looked like the familiar buggy minus the horse. People were more concerned with whether it was safe and how well it would work. Automobiles continued to look like carriages and much the same lines were used year after year. Then motor cars became a means of mass transportation with steel bodies that could be reproduced in the millions. Late in the 1920s, the Model A replaced the Model T. Here was the beginning of a new motor age, the styling of a mass-produced car so that it would be more pleasing to the eye. As engineers worked to improve the mechanism, stylists worked to improve the appearance. In those formative years, the concept of the modern car was born. As the work of the stylist became an organized search for beauty. This is the story of a search, a search for beauty. In this search, men first drew inspiration from the forms of nature. In Egypt, the papyrus plant formed the motif in the fluting of architectural columns. In the maiden's gown. In the alabaster vase. In the styling of chariots, the ancestors, all fleet and... One concept led to the elegance and dignity of the continental. Unto the swift and distinctive lines of the Thunderbird. This principle beautiful things on wheels. The finest wheel vehicles were styled for elegance and were made by hand for the fortunate few. But then came an innovation that was a turning point in history. <laughs> 